next and final um, patron to speak is uh, Greg Patrick, Pastor Greg Patrick, and items regarding um, support of bond. Thank you so much, uh, President Williams, to H.D. Chambers and the other uh, board members. I am happy to be here today, and I've come for a twofold purpose to come here today as a lifelong, but not a lifelong, but a 40 year Haiti resident. I'm very much concerned about not only the things that happen in Haiti, but the good things and the bad things that happen trying to avoid the bad things at all costs. Um, I have two subjects that I'd like to address today. The first one being, uh, I support, not only, I support the bond issue, that's the first one. I support it, I support it uh, as not only a way to update the current conditions within the district, but also specifically to provide upgrades in technology, and student and teacher safety, needed security through a centralized system that will be able to protect our children if there are emergencies that do happen. New buses, new computers, and new campuses. Um, sorely needed renovations and building upgrades to facilities like Trump Stadium and many, many others. Um, I wanted to let you know that this bond is an important one and it should be supported by the AV community. And uh, that bond issue, and the opinions of the bond issue are political, and will always have differing opinions, which is our right to do so. The bill is one thing, but it is our right to protest it, if indeed we do not like it. Now, however, my second subject is not political, it is personal, because during the last board meeting in a public forum, I was accused of being a non-resident of the Ailey community and thereby my candidacy should be considered illegitimate. I must refute this erroneous statement publicly as it was presented publicly by stream and Zoom on social media. On September 11, 2001, I moved into my parsonage, yes, on that day, as they were falling, the buildings were falling, and I have maintained residence there uh, since that time, I'm very happy there, and I, even Harris County has visited my parsonage and has allowed it to continue as my official residence uh, at, at this time, which is in daily. Again, let me make clear, I own no property in the state of Texas, with which any person could easily have checked if they wanted to before blurting it out that I was not a resident. That would be settled not in this room, but in a room that has jurisdiction. The only house I've owned since I was divorced was in Katy, and it was sold some time ago. Now I'll be happy to show you the closing documents which I have brought here with me. Um, it was transferred, was not transferred to another family member nor friend for holding. It was sold. I'd love to say more, but let me just say, no one be allowed to stand before this honorable board and besmirch the character of anyone just on the pretense of running for office. I, when I started to run for this office, I thought it would be one that we would talk issues, but now we have attacked a person's integrity and character. This is beneath us and should never be done. Easily, we can find ways of working together and not besmirch one another, not demean one another's character. We are people of a variety of faiths and religious views. But if we're going to be people of this good country, this great country, we must be people that respect one another and check things out before you call a person a liar. I, myself, was appalled when I saw and heard of this over Zoom, strained and repeatedly played to other persons. 
I'm not here to slap anyone's hand. I'm here to say that is not the truth. Again, I own no property in Texas. My church owns no property in Texas except the property it sits on at Bel Air and Highway 6. We love it there, I love it there, and will continue to vote from there as God gives me opportunity. Thank you, Pastor Patrick. At this moment, we are going to move to item number five, which is the donation report, Mr. Chambers. 